to my channel. This is ICV Mirror Reviews. My name is Andre Brinker, and today I'm going to review the second MCU film that came out this year, and also the new film in the Phase Four, Shang Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. This movie is directed by Destin Daniel Grayton and stars Simi Liu, Aquafina, Michelle Yeoh, and Tony Yeung. This movie tells the story of martial artist Shang Chi, played by Simi Liu. He basically works as a hotel employee in San Francisco until he has to confront his past when his father in a movie told him to join the Ten Rings organization that inspired Shang-Chi to be the hero he is destined to be. We are out of lockdown, guys. We are out of Melbourne lockdown. Movie theaters are open again, and it felt so fantastic being back in movie theaters again. So obviously Shang-Chi is my first choice because this is one of my most anticipated films of the year. I want to see a new addition in the MCU. As much as I love the older characters in the MCU, it's time to bring up some new characters in the MCU. Shang-Chi, a martial artist, a martial artist superhero. Awesome. Like, if someone pitched that to me, I'd be like, that's already awesome. So, obviously, I was excited for this film. And, guys, this is a breath of fresh air, guys. This film is a breath of fresh air because, in my opinion, Shang-Chi and The Legend of the Ten Rings is probably the best solo MCU film since Captain America The Winter Soldier. This film was absolutely breathtaking, especially how the movie looks and the world building that Shang-Chi presented us. It is so breathtaking and it's so different. It's something fresh and new. Yep, MCU does that too, but moments in the MCU where I just felt like, yep, this is just an MCU film. This is another great comic book origin story movie. We get a tense of origin stories and all that stuff, backstories in the film, and it just felt so fresh to me. I like superhero origin stories in films. I just want to talk about Simi Liu for a bit as Shang-Chi because what a great performance he presents us in this film. Another great addition to a great comic book movie casting. I think he is fantastic in this film as Shang-Chi. He has charisma, he has comedy, but he's also freaking badass in the film. Probably some of the most badass characters that I've seen in the entire MCU. But Simi Liu in this film does a fantastic performance in this film. And it makes me want to see more from him because he's great in this film. And especially all the other side characters in the film are absolutely flawless in my opinion. Aquafina in this film really surprised me. I wasn't expecting to like her character as much as I do. Don't get me wrong, I love Aquafina. I think she's a funny actress. I liked her in movies. But I was worried that she's going to be this generic love interest to a comic book character. She really isn't. She's more of a friend to Shang-Chi in this film, and it just felt so different and new, and I liked that. But her character in this film is so likable, and she's definitely the comedic relief in the film. She has so many jokes that crack me up laughing. But her chemistry with Shang-Chi makes this movie much more fun, and I really like them two together, and I want to see them too in the future MCU films. Also, Tony Young, hopefully I said his name right, as the villain in this film, as Shang-Chi's dad. Wow! Finally, we get another good MCU villain. He is so great in this film. He has a motivation. You get his motivation. Obviously, I'm not going to spoil what his motivation is. This is a non-spoiler review. He has a motivation, and I do care about him at parts. And his chemistry with Shang-Chi is really, really strong in this film. And that is what an MCU villain should do. Like, the MCU villain, the last MCU villain that did that for me is Thanos and Killmonger in Black Panther. We got another great MCU villain that has great motivation and also is very strong in the film. And that's what MCU villains should be nowadays. Not forgettable like that guy from For the Dark World. I forgot what the villain's name is. That is what I call a great MCU villain. When you watch this film, you gonna say that's how an MCU villain should be. Also, Shang-Chi's sister in the film. I don't know the actress's name. I apologize. She's also great in the film. I liked her character in the film and her chemistry with Shang-Chi was great also. It's a very important part to the story, and it adds a bit of conflict in the film. And that's what's great about the film. It's the side characters have a lot to do with the story and makes Shang-Chi much more of a great character than he is. This film is honestly the most beautiful out of the MCU films, especially with style over substance. The movie looks fantastic. I love the world building of this film. I love how this film looks. The colours of this film. It's a very colourful MCU film. And it gets dark when it needs to be, and it gets light when it needs to be. And those combinations really work in this film. This film is also really funny. Like, there are a lot of jokes in this film where I was killing myself laughing, of course, from Aquafina, but other characters as well. And there's also some cameos in this film 
that I'm not going to spoil, but I wasn't expecting to be in the film at all, and it actually worked in my opinion. But, let's talk about the thing that actually really stood out in Shang-Chi. The action scenes. Oh my god, the martial arts in the MCU is a great new addition. The action in this film is absolutely mind-boggling. There is a lot of great action scenes in this film. It is so badass. It gets badass when it needs to be, but it also gets beautiful when it needs to be. There are some beautiful fight scenes in this film. And it's weird for me that a fight scene looks very, very beautiful in the film. It really does in this film. There are some beautiful, peaceful-looking fight scenes that actually made me smile. But there are also some really badass action scenes that turns out to be one of my favorite action I've seen in the MCU in a while. There is a scene in a bus that you saw in the trailer, and it's much better than you saw in the trailer. Right away when I saw that bus scene, I'm like, I'm loving this movie. This is my favorite solo MCU film in a while because of that bus scene. That is some of the best action that I've seen in the entire MCU. There's a lot of great screenplay in this film. This whole film, honestly, is almost flawless. I think this is a perfect Marvel origin story film that we've got in a long, long time. I think one of my biggest flaws in the film, though, there are some questionable CGI at a couple moments in the film. There are some CGI moments where I'm like, okay, they could have at least fixed that. It's not terrible or anything. I do like the look of this film, the special effects, even when the final act comes, which I'm not going to spoil, but that's when the visual effects did shine. But there are some noticeable visual effects in this film where I feel like, okay, it looks a bit unfinished. But guys, overall, Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings brings me exactly what I want to see in a new edition in the MCU. It has great action, has great fight scenes, the story is fantastic. The character of Shang-Chi is probably one of my favorite Marvel characters now in a long time. I love Simi Liu in the film. The rest of the cast, like Aquafina, Tony Young as the villain in the film. And I forgot to mention Michelle Yeoh in the film. She was also fantastic in the film, very badass in the film. Everyone was great in the film. This is definitely the best solo MCU film in a very long time. I'm so happy that I love Shang-Chi and Legend of Ten Rings and I can't wait to see this movie again when it comes on Disney Plus on Disney Plus Day because I am going to give Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings an A. Yes, martial arts in the MCU, great new addition. And Shang-Chi, welcome to the MCU. Guys, let me know down below if you have seen Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. What do you think of the movie? Do you like the movie? Hate the movie? Or if it's okay, let me know in the comments below. That's my review of Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Please make sure you follow me on social media links down below. Facebook, Stardust, Instagram, Twitter, and Letterboxd. Keep contact with me. And make sure you guys subscribe to my channel notified for my latest movie reviews and other movie-related content. And have a nice day.